Hi everybody, this is a red and white arcane bombardment deck where we play a lot of spells in the early game and try to reuse them in the late game with our favorite red enchantment. Now, this is only kind of an arcane bombardment deck. When you get right down to it, this is really an electrostatic infantry deck. So I played this card with Haughty Jin, another card that loves to have a lot of other spells in your deck. And some of y'all suggested that we just build a strategy around this little sparky lad here. So we went with a red and white build, red for the bombardment and all the spells that provides, and white for the spells that kind of protect our creatures and clear a little path for us to get through. We've got a few copies of Surge of Salvation, a nice cheap way to make our stuff untargetable. Nice added bonus, this protects bombardment too. We've got Play with Fire, of course, and then we've got a few copies of Lightning Strike as well. I'm running Valorous Stance here over something like Destroy Evil that I might normally run because this protects the Electrostatic Infantry and gets rid of things like Shieldred. Death Touch creatures in general, we don't really want to see on our end because we're just trying to protect our infantry and attack. I'm also doing one copy of Recommission for Fun, the idea being that if our creatures get removed early on, maybe we can use this to recycle them if we don't have the protection for them at the time. And then I'm trying out two copies of Witch's Mark over something like Thrill of Possibility. It lets us discard to draw two cards, and we get to buff our own creature a little bit as well. I'm running two copies of Monastery Mentor. I figure that would play well with all the spell casting that's going on and allow us to go wider in some situations, maybe recover from a board wipe that we couldn't avoid. We're doing two copies of Mondrak Glory Dominus. It plays well with the Mentor, and it plays really well with Big Score. This could honestly probably be something else. It's a little clunky for our deck but the times it works, you can kind of get some crazy results out of it. Over here in the fives, I've got two copies of Burn Down the House and one Virtue of Loyalty. This is nice because it untaps the infantry, lets us block against more aggressive red decks that are still trying to damage us and burn us out, kind of lets us come back in that situation and as some sacrifice fodder for something like Shieldred's Edict. Then if we've run out of gas towards the late game, the idea is we can plop down a copy of Arcane Bombardment and start reusing things, getting our stuff back, and just trying to make it the last few yards to wear our opponent out. I've got a sideboard here of things I was also considering but didn't quite make the cut for me, so that might be another way we could go too. At any rate, we had some interesting games with this deck. As always, it's not super competitive. We're just trying to have some fun with Bombardment here, but I really hope you enjoy some of these games. A couple of them got a little out of hand. All right, well, we've got infantry to start us off. Let's give this a try. I think we'll start with the bivouac. That always comes into play tapped. So it's always a balance with these. Usually I play, uh, not electrostatic infantry, the, the drake that draws cards, the blue one. And kind of similar to the rot priest, you need to have some extra mana available to make sure you protect it because that's pretty much your whole game plan right there. So I think we're going to wait on this infantry. I do have protection spells in here. Which is Mark not quite going to cut it? Might have to wait for some of those. See if we can determine what our opponent's up to and see if there's a good window for us to cast this once we get a better idea of what they're doing. All right. Well, Urza's rebuff, not really what I want to see. Big score can kind of boost us into a bombardment, maybe give them a good counter target. Let's see if they want to take action on this one. Okay, yeah, they got the make disappear for it. All right, ooh, well, there's a surge. Let's go for the infantry. And looks like we can get away with Witch's Mark and keep mana up for the surge. So let's try this out. We'll discard Angel Fire because we can get that back. And we get Union and a burn down the house. All right, so we're sitting on a 3 4. Doesn't have Ward, but we can surge it. Opponent taking a, taking a good read. Oh, they've got Lily. That's like the one... Oh, wait a minute. Does this... I think this targets. Okay, we can do this. We're going to Surge. It's target player, and this, this makes us hexproof. So in a roundabout way, we get to dodge that effect. That's, that's fantastic. All right. Well, we're out of protection. We might as well start going for it. Let's do Burn Down the House. Pumps up the infantry. We can send one at Lily and send the remaining seven points at our opponent. Devil's nice to have on board here. It gives us kind of a backup win condition if they start picking off our infantry. Can't really get rid of the devils too easily without taking some damage yourself. All right. Well, they had to go for the throat. That's fine. Take an extra damage thanks to the wicked roll token. 
Well, we've got a bivouac on board. Yeah, my opponent might just be in a situation where they've got kind of one of removal, and that's kind of terrible against what we've got left over here. So let's make our devil a little bit bigger, get him down to five. We've got mo we've got monastery mentor. If they do have a board wipe, and they pick it up, all right, good game. Okay, got to mull this. All right, we've got some infantry, a little short on the lands, but we're gonna try this. And I think we're gonna put back angel fire. Well. Yeah, play with fire doesn't really help us that much. Angel fire could help us recover. And like on the off chance that it's a mono... <laughs> on the off chance that it's a mono red deck, we might want to have angel fire. All right, well, we got two of these guys. Let's put one infantry out now. If they don't have the removal for it, we can start growing it and maybe get it out of range. Oh, they're going more the burn angle, so they got the... The uh, Kessig creature that hits us for one. All right, well, we drew a Surge. Let's sit back a little bit and protect this creature. Vulnerable to Lightning Strike, Warcrafting, all kinds of things. They might be hiding over there. Stoke the Flames. Well, we can definitely Surge to protect that. Grows the Infantry. Now a great blocker for the Kumano. And no attacks, of course. All right, let's... This might be worthwhile. If we war crafting on the Flame Breather, we get to see an extra card off the top, but more importantly, it grow. Ooh, that's a good one. See Recommission off the top. Got to decline and shuffle that away. I think the plan now is to just make the infantry too big to burn. Opponent's got Reckless Impulse. Looks like they can play the Swift Spear, and they'll have their damage increasing enchantment on backup for next turn. All right. So that means they've got no burn in hand since they didn't attack me and try to bait us into a block. So let's go Angel Fire. That's really going to grow the creature. We can attack no consequences. It's got Vigilance, and we're, we're back up to 23. All right, Mechanized Warfare now coming down. Play with fire on our creature. And an End the Festivities pumps the Monastery Swift Spear up to four or five, so we can't block, but that's, that's all right. Oh, and we draw the land too. All right, let's go Angel Fire Ignition again. A <laughs> 9 10 lifelinker dropping our opponent to 5 and essentially negating the last attack that they almost emptied their hand for. Excellent. All right. Got too big. Good game. Okay. Love to see infantry in the starting hand. Always a little depressing when you shuffle up this deck and there's no creature. Although I think that has to do with the arena algorithm, doesn't it? I thought I read somewhere that it takes a look at the composition of your deck and sort of tries to guarantee you a good proportion of, you know, some of the card types that it's got going on. We have no protection and our opponent's on white. We're just going to go for it here with the infantry. The remainder of our plan, if they eliminate this, is to go union into big score and hopefully dig our way into a bombardment. Yep, since they do have the ossification, white just loaded with removal. And we draw the fourth land here. So now we can kind of maybe switch into almost a control posture. Let's see our opponent's got the wedding announcement. Let's go ahead and union. We draw into another infantry, which could be interesting. And a recommission. Choices. Let's just pass. I think we want a big score here. So showing the infantry early might make them think that we're a little more aggressive than we actually are. Maybe we can we can surprise our opponent a little bit. So just an attack. Wedding announcement makes a token. We're going to big score away recommission. White plays with a lot of exile removal anyway. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's the Wanderer. 
So a recommission may not be too useful. But they flash it in, grow their creature in response to our big score. We get Virtue of Loyalty off the top. Well, this might be a good opportunity then to switch to control mode for a second. We'll burn down the house, get rid of the Wanderer and those tokens. Debating, I think we just pass. So we could play out our infantry and try to dodge some removal. But we've got two options here of either doing Virtue of Loyalty for the Knight or keeping up Lightning Strike for something dangerous. All right, just fetching a land there, and the final token gets created by their wedding announcement as we draw the second infantry. Okay, well, I think it's time. Let's throw out both of these. We have two instants, only able to cast one in response. So if they've got a board wipe, we're in trouble. If they've got targeted removal, at least we've got one of these left over. Wedding announcement. So just continuing to go wide. All right, well, there's some targeted removal. It's based on mana value, so nothing we can do there. And decides to attack. All right, let's, uh, we'll take the bait. I think, I think, I don't think they see this coming. We're going to hit Virtue of Loyalty here, create a knight, do this at instant speed. Able to block with no consequences there with the infantry as wedding announcement triggers just on card draw since they attacked with two. All right, let's play with fire that token away. Grows our infantry. And finally, let's attack with these two creatures. We can actually Virtue of Loyalty here. Untap the infantry and keep it safe from a main phase Wandering Emperor. Opponent untaps, they've got the Eternal Wanderer. Hmm, that could get annoying. Let's see what they decide to do. Okay, they exile the infantry. That's going to come back. If they exile the token, it obviously does not. Bit of a tough position here. Let's lightning strike the token. Then we can lightning strike the Eternal Wanderer. Get that down to three loyalty and attack for three. A little bit of a clunky way to tame that board, but at least we get our infantry back and it gets a free counter. Okay, opponent's got the soul partition for our token. Never to return, and wedding announcement flips over for the final time, and they're sitting on a 3-3 human token. So let's, let's get in for the attack. Oh, they've got the Wandering Emperor. Well, let's big score in response then. We'll pitch this union. See if we can't draw anything. All right, nothing helpful to protect protect old Sparky and they exile it going back up to 17 well let's replace Sparky put a counter on him let's keep this land in case we hit another big score opponent with another wedding announcement we have just been slogging through tokens this game all right, uses the Wanderer to grow a human. Yes. Wedding announcement makes another token. We pick up Witch's Mark. Well, could be worse. Let's Witch's Mark the infantry. That'll get a free counter and a wicked roll. We'll discard this land we, ha we hung on to. We got a Valorous Stance and a Surge. Okay. So let's destroy the big token. Grows the infantry. Now, even if they block the wanderer, or sorry, even if they block this creature, the wanderer will still be gone if we attack here. So let's do that. 
great. All right, bit of a top deck battle, but I'm feeling pretty good. We've got Surge of Salvation in hand. That Virtue really coming in handy, untapping our creatures. Ooh, another Eternal Wanderer, okay. Let's see what we're doing here. They can exile it. All right, they're gonna try. I think this is worth surging. So we'll counter that, grow the creature. All right, creates ever more tokens. Oh, a big score, but nothing to discard. Okay, well, we kind of have to attack the Wanderer here. Looks like blocking with both to preserve the loyalty level on the Wanderer. All right, Virtue untaps us. So they can exile our infantry again with that trick they did before. If we don't draw anything good, we can big score it away. Okay, makes a double striker. Could be counting on the size of the tokens to kind of bail them out a little bit. Well, lucky for us, we did draw. We can big score here because Surge is not helpful when they're dealing off the top. All right, I think we might be able to manage this. Let's go Valorous Stance on this Double Striker. Grows the infantry. So that's six guaranteed damage if we attack the Wanderer, which we're definitely gonna do. All right, so they really need something off the top here. I mean, we do too, to be honest. A couple more spells and we might just be able to get there. Land off the top for the opponent. All right, what do we got? Ooh, Stance. All right, let's draw first. Got enough mana. Just to land. All right, let's 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 just go attacking here then. We know we can't kill them this turn. We don't have enough for lethal damage. And on the off chance they draw something that destroys a creature, we can use stance to save our win condition here. Okay, just to land, and that should wrap it up. Wow, good game. Okay, yep, no infantry. Ooh, no infantry again. All right, let's keep this new plan. Don't like to mull too low. And our decks are not really giving us the lands here. So the kind of weird thing about our deck is that we can at least pivot into arcane bombardment control mode. It's not as resilient as some of our builds because we're kind of protecting the infantry, but we can do it. Yeah, let's pitch recommission for later. There's nothing in our hand to recommission. We've got a couple of copies of Mondrak. Another wedding announcement opponent. I wonder what some of the most played cards in Standard over the last couple of years have been. I think wedding announcement would for sure be on that list. Fable, of course. Let's go Mondrak here since we got two. And if Mondrak sticks around, this big score is going to be super fun. Archangel Elsbeth. Makes another soldier. And Wedding Announcement helps out with a human. Okay, so Stance is not too useful. We got a free attack against Elsbeth. Let's make him at least block with one creature. All right, and I think we're gonna do this now so we can keep up with our land draws. Let's go big score, discard one stance. Got another mono white opponent, so they're probably gonna try to exile our stuff. Wow, and just looking at it, this is essentially a free big score. Oh, I was worried about that. So stance not gonna help us against the Wanderer since Mondrag is tapped. Can't use its ability to save it because indestructibility doesn't matter against exiling. So let's big score while we can. Pitch the not too useful Valorous Stance. A nice free big score. Unfortunately, nothing to protect Mondrak off of that draw. Okay, and now opponent is growing one of their creatures. 
think that's okay to let happen. We may have to save some of this burn to like poke through some blockers, try to hit some of these planeswalkers. Although I think, yeah, Elsbeth's in range, so let's go ahead and take her out right now. And come to think of it, Wanderer's in range too. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. So leaving them with just the Flying Soldier, I think... Oh, there's a Warcrafting. Yeah, let's just go with Mondrak for the moment. I'm going to keep this Garden just another source of card draw. We've got a few turns, but we're going to have to deal with this Flyer eventually. Opponent with the big Eternal Wanderer. Okay. Yep, could just be clearing our blocker away, trying to get in some more damage. Yep, Mondrak removed. And opponent hits us for six with that attack, leaves one human back. Big score the draw, let's just pass it on over. We get our Mondrak back. They go for the exile again. Well, in response to that, before Mondrak leaves, let's big score. Get double the treasures. There we go. All right, now we got lots of treasure. Goodbye, Mondrak. And attacks hits us for eight. We're down to three. Any follow-up here? Virtue of loyalty to create a knight. And that's it. All right, well, we've got a lot of mana here. I think we can do this. Eternal Wanderer at seven. Doesn't take out enchantments, though. Can just target artifacts and creatures, so I think we are relatively safe. And then we'll fire off a burn down the house to clear off this board. Let's see what we get off of Bombardment here. Big score. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's toss Warcrafting to that. Excellent. Burn down the house goes off. Let's play this land. And we've got Union ready for the next turn. Opponent with a Wandering Emperor. The small one. Yep, likely making a token to try to finish us. We get Mondrak back. So, they could try to remove Mondrak here. They've got the destroy effect. Let's union now and see what we can get. We get Warcrafting and big score. All right. Well, sorry, infantry. We're going to big score this time. It's going to give us a bunch of mana in case we draw anything good to do. And let's Warcrafting on the attacker that they haven't put the counter on yet. I guess we're getting Bivouac off the top. And we draw Mentor. Finally, Union happens, and just another land. All right, let's let Mondrak go. Can't save it with its ability. We got nothing else on board. Not enough to save it. An opponent with a random Agatha's Soul Cauldron in here? I guess they are putting 1-1 one, one counters on things with uh, the Wanderer anyway as they exile our Burn Down the House. Okay. Well, let's go Mentor. Let's play one land. So the question is, do we keep this Surge? I think we do. Because you know they're going to want to remove this Mentor. They've got Lethal on board, right? So they try to exile it. We're going to surge in response. That's going to activate the Mentor, give us a token. And then we'll see what Bombardment picks up. Okay, we do have a few things down there still. Some big scores, some other spells. Opponent with a response. They take one of the big scores with the Soul Cauldron. 
All right, well, it's double big score. We can only cast one since we only have one thing to discard. But that's okay. We've got Warcrafting. Let's fire that off. Yeah, let's do a token for the moment. So all these spells trigger the Mentor and give us more tokens. Then all the prowess happens. And Warcrafting finds us a union off the top. That's all right. I'll take that. And we draw into another burn down the house. And finally, Mentor's protected from lay down arms. And let's see, we have till the end of our next turn to play this card. Okay. Hmm, Virtue of Loyalty. So that's going to put a 1-1 one, one counter on the Samurai. Oh, and they're making another double striker to go with it. Oh, did they not use the original Wanderer too? All right, well, a third token. Hmm. Guards, to me. Any attacks? No. Tell you what, let's Union now. These prowess triggers can get really out of hand, and there's a, there's a chance we could poke through this. Poke through this defensive line here. All right, let's start off with Witch's Mark on the main mentor. Bunch of prowess. All right, arcane bombardment. We got big score. We'll discard that planes. Big score. Discard other planes. Valorous stance. Yeah, that should have a target. Let's destroy the double striker. And let's warcrafting another token. That's another potential blocker. And so now we're going to get all these triggers. So the tokens don't matter so much right now. It's mainly the prowess. We're going to see if we can get up as high as we can. Okay, no spells from that big score. Virtue of loyalty from that one. Let's discard Sundown Pass to the Witch's Mark. And <laughs> just more lands. All right. We are close, if not already there. Let's do one more spell. And opponent, yeah, they see it coming. Good game. All right. I like Mentor, but not that much. Let's let's keep sort of the traditional Boros Bombardment hand. Got a Demir opponent with the Baywatch Kiora over there. All right, let's keep the garden in case we start drawing too many lands. We can cycle it away. Obira. All right, well, let's not let that live. Lightning Strike takes that out. Still haven't seen a fairy's deck that I'm happy with, which is kind of sad. I used to have a mono blue one way back when. We're talking Cloud of Fairies. Look that one up. That was a fun one, although I'm sure I annoyed a lot of people with that. So Sleep Cursed Fairy. Opponent's going to take a stun counter off of that. What a, ooh, ego drain. All right, that could make that could make fairies worthwhile. Yep, let's let's let him have it. it. Takes big score. Good choice. And Talion's messenger. That's annoying. Okay, let's draw here. Warcrafting. All right, let's play Sundown Pass. Let's try to take out this messenger. That just seems really bothersome. Don't need to exile any lands, so we'll put them on the bottom. An opponent kind of knows what's up here, so they're free to free to do their worst. Oh, another messenger. And that sleep cursed fairy is going to start untapping soon. All right. Well, we need to need to draw the right portion of our deck here. Okay, opponent attacks for four. A messenger gives him a free loot and a free counter. Put 
puts it on the messenger itself. Now safe from lightning strikes. Another sleep cursed fairy. All right, that's not going to stay tapped for long. Oh, Got to draw into something here. Let's go Union. All right, there's a big score. And an infantry. Okay. Let's play out the infantry. That gets through. And we've got mana left, big score, and a card to discard. So we could try to develop into a race scenario here. Oh, fairy fencing. All right, well, we're going to big score in response and see if we can draw something to protect the infantry since we can't grow it high enough. Oh, one mana short. Couldn't union to get it the rest of the way there. All right, well, one untapped land means we can both bombard and union. As our opponent now starts going to work with these fairies, looks like we're going to take nine. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Down to nine. Opponent one card in hand. Burn down the house off the top. All right. I think we got to go for it. Five damage. All right. That works. Opponent's been looting, though. All right. Nothing here. Okay. All right. That was a very timely board wipe for us. All right. Let's go for this. We've got two mana if that's a make disappear in hand. We got the bombardment. Okay. All right. Fairy Vandal comes down. Another Fairy Vandal. <laughs> and Italian's Messenger to activate the whole thing. Wow. That's pretty good. Yep. The card draw triggering the Vandal plus the counter. All right. Well, Union our only option here. Let's Union. Big score. Let's do that. Discard Sundown Pass. Yep. Then we can maybe cycle if we need something. All right. Well, there's another big score. Let's play out Infantry. And I think play this out. Okay. Opponent's coming... Coming over. All right. Bunch of triggers. We can't block. Let's go big score while this is all on the stack. See if we can't pick up some burn and take care of this. Infantry grows. We've got big scores. Nothing but big scores and nothing else to discard. Surge of Salvation, that's not going to help us. Oh, no. No, that's... That's not good. Okay. Another Surge. All right. Let's use Surge just to activate Bombardment here. We get Lightning Strike... Although everybody is now too big to be struck. Point that at the opponent. Let's go big score. Yeah, I think we got to do it. We got a big score again. Surge of salvation. Got to go away. Need to draw something. Lightning strike. Okay, so we can at least activate on our opponent's turn. Really dependent on what we pick up off a of bombardment now. All right, up to six. No sense in casting this lightning strike. We need that for the next turn. Okay, it's going to be down to the wire. Let's go electrostatic infantry. That'll get the benefit of all the spells. Hmm, we need to pick up burn down the house. Maybe a Warcrafting might help. Union would be pretty good. All right, Lightning Strike to the face. What do we get? Grows the Infantry. Okay, Lightning Strike. If we can draw into some burn, we might get there. I think this can bring them to three, but we need it now. Bunch of triggers on these infantry. Getting super big. 
All right, opponent goes to six. Big score finds us lands. Second one. Play with fire. Oh, no. Yep. No, I think that's it. I think we are one, one short. Good game, opponent. <laughs> Good game. We're going to point this player, play with fire at ourself and uh, take a look. Yep, there's Mondrak. No help there. Man, close game. Close game. All right, let's mull this bunch of expensive stuff. There's an infantry. Let's keep that. Start off here with our Sundown Pass. All right, we're going to go land number two and pass. Not going to play the infantry until our next turn. Put it with a Requisitioner. Haven't seen that guy in a while. Pretty good card. Gives you a little bit of ramp in colors that don't usually have it. Trying to abrade the infantry. We're going to surge in response. Prevent that from happening. Opponent decides not to attack. We're going to lay land number four right on time. Yeah, let's go attack in here. All right, we're going to big score in response. That gets infantry bigger than this creature. And gives us enough treasure to cast stance if they've got a destroy effect on their turn. Start getting in the damage where we can. Okay, opponent's got a Celestis. Usually a signal of a control deck. All right, land number five. Let's send in the infantry. Hits opponent for three. Let's play the backup copy. Mm, got something now? No, okay. So we've got stance to stance as our protection. Mm, opponent being very cagey over there. Although they maybe they could be trying to surprise us with a creature land here. Well, I think I think we go in anyway. Alright, no blocks. In that case, yeah, let's let's just go for it. They're down to two cards. Haven't taken care of the infantry yet. Mentor could put us over the top with a wider array of creatures. Flick a coin, that's not going to help. Just doing that for the treasure in the draw. What do we got down there? A braid, flick a coin. Brotherhood's end pretty good. All right. I think we can do this. Let's make the mentor indestructible. We're going to lose a token and the smaller infantry. The bigger infantry grows itself out of the way. Follows up with a shielder, but we've got Warcrafting in hand. I knew I put this card in this deck for a reason. All right. Well, it can't do both Bombardment and Warcrafting. Let's Warcraft Shielder there. Prowess is up the Mentor, gives us a token. Attack for eight. Got them down to five. Opponent taking a look at the Mentor. Yep, nothing we can do about a cut down there. Still got lethal on board, though. As so we draw Bivouac. All right. Let's go to combat. Let's see. Bivouac. I think, yeah. Let's just go in there. Just a chump blocker, so they're still going to take three from this. Nothing we can do about that. No follow-up instant or sorcery for us. I suppose we could have attacked with the monk there for the prowess. Yeah, that might that might have worked there. Oh, they've got the end for the infantry. All right. Well, there goes that plan. And then Restless Fortress, they animate it and come in for attacks, gain some life. Oh, we've got big score, no cards to discard, but we do have a bivouac on board that maybe they missed. 
Go in for the attack, put a counter on the token, and that should be four damage right there. Hmm, that was a close one. Good game. 